I am Dr. Sharjeel and you are watching my YouTube channel. If you like my videos, don't forget to subscribe my channel so so that you should be informed about the future videos. Now I shared this challenging case a few days back and today I am explaining it. Now this 14 years old teenager was struck with a stone while playing outside home. Now trauma, he had got a blunt trauma to the eye with such a brutal force that it, its impact can be clearly seen from his periorbital uh, appearance. Uh, you can see all around the eye there are bruises, uh, trauma marks, echimosis. Uh, there is also traumatic mild ptosis. Uh, conjunctival hyperemia, subconjunctival hemorrhages, cornea was also a bit hazy as compared to the normal right cornea and the pupil sizes were also irregular so there was a traumatic anisocoria with a dilated pupil in the left traumatic eye and his vision was perception of light positive. PL positive and projection was present in all four quadrants. So when I performed relative afferent pupillary defect, it was positive in the left eye and on fundus examination, there was a whitish retina, whitish retina and uh, which just gave the impression of a central retinal artery occlusion, a cherry red spot and there was a crescentic shape mark and intraretinal hemorrhages as well. So he had a trauma to the left eye with a stone two days back and now he came with such a grave decrease of vision, uh, perception of light positive. So that retinal whitening uh, is due to significant retinal edema uh, which is called commotio retinae. Uh, there was the disc hyperemia as well. So one thing which I always emphasize is keep an eye on your kids while playing because they don't know the consequences of a trauma to their eyes and uh, that can lead to irreversible damage like in this kid. So I also checked for uh, any uh, retinal tears uh, uh, which were absent, uh, intraocular pressure was normal. Uh, so I explained uh, his parent uh, that uh, his vision may improve a little bit uh, but uh, all the signs which are present uh, they are pointing towards poor prognosis. So the main aim of today's video is uh, to show you commotio retinae and uh, to discuss it in detail that what is commotio retinae now it is the appearance of the retina after trauma to the eye whether uh, direct or indirect direct traumatic retinopathy is present uh, at the areas of the scleral impact and indirect or countercorp is present uh, at the areas opposite to the impact uh, like uh, at the macula in this patient, uh, uh, if the stone has struck the cornea, now commotio retinae at the macula is called Berlin's edema. So you should remember the difference between commotio retinae and Berlin's edema. Commotio retina means uh, diffuse whitening of the retina uh, involving macula and extramacular areas as well. Uh, and when we see commotio retina at the macula at the posterior pole it is called Berlin's edema. 
now road traffic accidents uh, sports uh, especially those sports uh, which involve uh, ball games like cricket football squash tennis golf uh, and stones around our all objects uh, can result in commotion retina now why this uh, commotion retina occurs retinal whitening involves uh, disruption and stretching of the outer segments of the photoreceptors uh, because they are not uh, protected by muller cells prognosis of for visual recovery depends upon the extent of uh, edema berlanz edema relative afferent pupil defect present or not and visual acuity at presentation extensive edema will maximally stretch the photoreceptors and cause irreversible damage leading to permanent visual loss in blunt trauma to the globe shock waves are transmitted inside the eye displacing the structures that comes in the way like lens iris diaphragm with expansion of the peripheral structures outwards resulting in tearing and shearing of the intraocular tissues retina is inelastic and had to bear all the effects of the shock waves resulting in the stretching of the outer segments of the photoreceptors uh, majority of the damage occurs at the photoreceptor processes because these are not suspended by muller cells in contrast to the rest of the neurosensory retina now this stretching causes characteristics whitening of the retina due to increased scattering of the light by abnormal photoreceptor processes plus edematous swollen retina now differential diagnosis of such a retinal appearance uh, could be um, retinal detachment involving the macula with macular hole uh, traumatic macular hole uh, uh, cherry red spot in central retinal artery occlusion um, and uh, other metabolic diseases uh, in with cherry red spot uh, and berlanz edema now this white retina starts to clear after one week of trauma with rest- restoration of outer segments of photoreceptors and uh, continues for at least 2 months so final visual acuity can be estimated after 2 months of trauma and after 2 weeks uh, you may not appreciate the berlanz edema or or this classical white appearance of the retina and you may get hyperpigmentation later on so how to avoid it uh, polycarbonate glasses uh, should be used in all contact uh, sports or ball sports so when after blunt trauma you get glistening white uh, gray retina with intra retinal hemorrhages uh, traumatic macular hole and traumatic choroidal rupture uh, like here you can see all these things so you should opt for oct macula which will clearly show increased reflectivity and thick and ellipsoid zone you should treat uh, the complications uh, and follow such patients uh, initially with high dose iv methylprednisolone uh, followed by oral steroids uh, that may reduce uh, retinal edema complications uh, as in this patient uh, are uh, traumatic macular hole choroidal rupture uh, you can get retinal tear uh, retinal detachment uh, lens subluxation as well so we should follow such patients for at least 6 months to have a maximum visual recovery our such patients with perception of light positive vision relative afferent pupil defect positive and extreme retinal whitening and macular traumatic macular hole have a very poor prognosis so that was all about commotion retina berlanz edema and why it occurs and we have to take care of our kids to save them for from irreversible visual loss thank you very much